So today we have my Kicker KS components and my other door speakers. Figured I should uh, finish out the whole Kicker set. Hit up some door speakers to go with the subs. If you order through Crutchfield, they even send you special adapters so you can splice directly into the factory uh, wiring system so you don't have to cut new wires. Even gave me an adapter bracket. I don't think I need it, but yeah, they looked up, said I had a Jeep, gave me this. We'll see. If you have the stock sit speaker system like I have, they're going to tell you that you have sit speakers. You really don't. You have four. What you have are these two coaxes in the back, and then up front you have a component set. That's where you have a separate woofer and a separate tweeter, but these are all one speaker. One speaker, one speaker. So you really have a four speaker set. I'm telling you this so you don't go into an audio shop and they say you sit different speakers and run off with your money. Up front, you're gonna go with six by nine components. In the back, you're gonna go with six and a uh, half coaxials. So how components work is, you have your mid base here. Here we are, I think these are three quarter inch tweeters. And in between the mid base and the tweeter, you need to wire a crossover. So this is what filters out your sound so that the high frequencies don't go here and the low frequencies don't go there, otherwise you'll blow your speakers. And this one is essentially the same thing, except the tweeter is already mounted inside the woofer all right now for the important part how do i get these speakers in this door so first thing you'll need is a pry tool see that square in there you need to pry that off and inside here is like a little clip you need to pry that off too and by tab i mean this black piece look right there you want to get behind it and pull forward it pops right off now inside you're gonna see Phillips head, a 10 millimeter bolt, and then a seven millimeter bolt. You need to remove those three. So once you get the screws, you just wanna uh, go around here and pop this off with your pride. You might feel like you're breaking it, but you're not. Just get under there and really pull. All right, so to get this out, get even with it. You wanna pull out and up. And watch out for this. And that's all there's to it. Okay, so as you take the door off, you're gonna find out that it's clipped together. You're gonna have one clip to right here and another clip that goes to this door handle. All you gotta do is um, quickly pull up this red tab, this should come off. But another thing you're gonna see is this is uh, like wire line that goes to open the door. We're not gonna disconnect that. It's what you're gonna see is it's threaded through this yellow clip right here. All you gotta do is pull this way, pull the clip out, and then we're just gonna pull the door to the side. So, so now we can see the inside of our door. We have the woofer that comes with the um, system. And up here we have the tweeter. We wanna get this tweeter out and we wanna get this woofer out. Woofer's pretty simple. Looks like some torts, maybe 20 screws. Um, this one might be a little bit more difficult. So the tweeter is fed into here. Just pull that, that should come off. And at the bottom, you'll see, uh, forget what those are called, but it's, it's just a quick pull. There we go. Got our tweeter system off. Put it just a little. No need to take the whole thing off, but just enough so you could get behind it so you can get ready to mount your new one. And it goes without saying, disconnect the tweeter clip. Okay, so I got the first woofer in. Looking nice already. Got the little wire coming out. I haven't mounted the crossover yet, but I'm gonna get the tweeter right, get those connections, then find the spot for the crossover. So the tweeter comes out with these three clips. They'll be clipped in, you just press in on the side from behind and pop it out. So here goes the tweeter. Here goes the ring adapter that I'm most likely gonna need. Here comes a little puck to help turn the tweeter into place. And on the back end, you're gonna have this trim ring that goes on the back that the tweeter screws into. So apparently these tweeters are too large for this bore. So I need to grab an X-Acto knife and carve out to get this to fit. Okay, so the file is down. <laughs> Had to use one of these tools, but it worked perfectly because uh, the tweeter fits now. And it sits almost flush into that spot. There we go, flush fit. I was able to use the adapter behind the twist into it. Cool, we good. Here we go, got the trim back on. Tweet is sitting flush and clean. I just need to mount, uh, connect the wires and mount the crossover. 
And then, uh, yeah, put this back together. So this is what crutchfield.com comes in clutch. They give you an adapter that should go to your original speaker harness so you don't have to splice these wires, which is positive, which is negative. Nope. Connect this adapter. There you have it, a positive and negative. Then I'm just splice that into the crossover positive and negative. Then I'm going to turn on the system, see if it works. Okay, I have my temp set up. The woofer and everything's connected to this crossover, which is connected to the power. So for the crossover, I know there's a decent amount of space underneath the woofer. So I use double side tape and mount it to the inside. And hopefully as I plug this all up, button this all up, it works just fine. Got it all put back together that easy. Looking clean. Okay, so I played these while keeping the stocks in. These are way better. Shit sounds good. The mid bass sounds cleaner. I'm going to say this is an upgrade. This is definitely an upgrade. I was worried if it would be. This is definitely an upgrade. Now I just got to do the other door and then knock out the back. Same thing, same exact way. I'm about to remove the woofer, swap it out. Here you go, the speaker we took out. Really small magnet. The one we putting in, real heavy. And for the Jeep, you're going to need this adapter. So I'm glad they sent it. You can look at the original one. You can see like, yeah, it's a certain tabs that you need. And then I need to insert this into that. So of course, after all this praise, Crutchfield sends me the wrong damn adapter. Fortunately, Kicker supplies you with his own. I just need to trim some of the edges to get this to fit. So for the back, for the back speakers, if you're using the other mounts, come in, grab like some pliers, rip off these little tabs. Shout out to Kicker for coming through Clutch. Cause Crutchfield, you let me down. Back door is the same as the front. 7 mil, 10 mil, screwdriver. Legit, this was definitely an upgrade, and I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please go back and watch my other video when I install my subs and my amp. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's always going to be more work to do.